This is the X Jaguar Racing Drone from FlyPro. I want to do a short tutorial on how to set up the MultiWii OSD on the 8-in-1 tower to display battery voltage, timer, artificial horizon, and flight modes. During my initial testing I noticed that most of these things were being displayed and working properly except the battery voltage which seemed to be stuck on 16.3 volts as you can see here. In clean flight, I had already set up the battery voltage monitoring by selecting VBAT and also set the telemetry output on the configuration tab as recommended in the documentation. I found out later that I needed to also configure the MultiWii OSD. This was a little more involved than I thought because I needed to build a cable and get an FTDI adapter to program the OSD. If you want to see how I did it, just watch the rest of this video. The MultiWii OSD is on the video transmission board on top of the 8-in-1 tower and this is the video wire here coming from the camera. One issue that I had after building the quadcopter was that the programming port for the OSD was not accessible because it was behind the side of the leopard head enclosure. To solve that, I took the leopard head back apart and drilled and filed a hole in the side of the leopard head so that the connector was now accessible. You will need an FTDI USB to TTL serial adapter module. I contacted FlyPro about purchasing one and they recommended this one that you can see here from eBay. As you can see, the price is very low. However, I decided to use a different module from SparkFun because I already had this on hand and it had the same function as the one from eBay. FlyPro may be providing these cables in the future, but for now I had to make my own. So here is what the cable looks like. I purchased this connector from Pololu along with some pigtail wires. The connector on the other end of the wire is harder to come by and I ended up using one that I had removed from a GPS unit. And you can see the pinout here on the image transmission board on the serial connector and these are the pins. Over here are the pins for the FTDI to USB basic serial interface. There is my FTDI adapter and here's the cable I made up using the wiring diagram you see above. You can pause the video at any time and write down the pinout so you can build your own cable. So first plug the programming cable into the X Jaguar OSD serial port and then plug the USB cable into the FTDI adapter. Then plug the other end of the USB cable into the USB port on your computer. You don't need to plug the battery into the X Jaguar because the image transmission board receives its power from the programming cable. These are the instructions for downloading. Now you'll need a Windows 64-bit operating system and you may need to install Java if it isn't up to date. And here's the link to get the Java. And down here is the link to get the MWOSD GUI and it's 1.6 and here is the link on GitHub where you can download it. We won't be using the firmware but that's also included. When you download the MWOSD GUI package, you also get the firmware, so they're both in the same folder. The folder usually is called the Scarab-OSD, and this is the version 1.6. Now to find the GUI, I've made a shortcut here, but to find the GUI, it's under this folder right here. And then you pick the uh, Windows 32 version. I'm not sure the 64 works, but there's the GUI right there, and you can make a shortcut to it. To program the OSD, the first thing we need to do is launch the MW OSD configuration GUI. So let's go ahead and do that. Of course, the USB cable is already plugged in. Then we open the COM port, which is COM port 4 and wait for the information to be loaded from the OSD. So we already have some things enabled by default and one of them is the flight mode which is this icon right here. If you turn it off and on you can see how it comes and goes on the display. We also have the timer enabled which is the one over here 
and we are displaying the artificial horizon and sidebars right here. So to get the battery voltage to work, we need to enable display battery voltage right here and enable use FC main voltage like that. Then we can go ahead and write the information to the OSD by clicking write. And when that gets done writing, we are now done and you can see the main battery voltage right here in the display area. So now that we're done, we can close the COM port and unplug the USB cable. I didn't set up the current monitoring because the PDB did not have a current sensor at this time. So here you can see the battery voltage is now working. Look in the lower left hand corner and you can see the battery voltage slowly ramping down as I fly. I checked the battery voltage with a battery voltage meter on the bench and it seemed to be fairly accurate. I will put some information in the video description under the video on YouTube along with some links for downloading the MWOSD configuration GUI and the firmware. You should not need to load the firmware because the Jaguar comes with the latest firmware installed. But if you want, I could make another video on installing the firmware. Just leave me a comment under the video. The OSD firmware is not loaded through the GUI, but by using the Arduino IDE software. Keep in mind that the MWOSD GUI version must match the firmware version. For example, 1.6 in this case. Thanks for watching.